When we fill similar balloon with air, its inner mirror surface becomes concave and therefore it focuses the solar radiation. It is obvious that our balloons are radically cheaper than similar metal and glass mirror structures which turn solar energy into electricity. In two minutes I will start showing other examples of cheap mirror balloons, but for now let's look at this first example. These balloons were made by one of the American companies with this name, and their balloon consists of this transparent film and this reflective film. They proposed to build such a power plant where the mirror surface of their balloon focuses the solar radiation on this small solar panel, which we can also see here. The Americans say that their mirror balloon has this features, and we see that its cost can be about one dollar per square meter of mirror, and it is able to withstand strong winds. <sighs> Unfortunately, I cannot do my experiments right now, because my country is resisting the attack of Russian invaders. Maybe someday I will make a similar mirror balloon for the Chapa solar heaters, which should turn according to the movement of the sun across the sky. Maybe I will do something similar, where it is the mirror surface of the balloon, and this is a receiver which will produce not electricity, but heat with a temperature of 3 or 400 degrees Celsius. I will strive to achieve this cost of our solar heat, half a cent per kilowatt hour, and it is approximately 10 times cheaper than the cost of heat from natural gas. In addition, this cheap thermal energy can be used to, to generate very cheap solar electricity through the methods of such solar power plants, where solar energy from these mirrors heats thermal oil inside these receivers to almost 400 degrees Celsius. Then the thermal energy of the oil produces steam for a turbine with an electric generator, or comes into such heat storage to produce electricity at night. We see that I will try to achieve the lifespan of our balloon about two years, and the total cost of its replacement two or three dollars per square meter of mirror. This cost is related to this part of our solar heater, and it will be cheaper for our case compared to this traditional case of glass or metal mirrors, because the weight of our mirror balloons is radically lighter. In addition, wind loads can be noticeably less, because we can remove the air from our balloon before hurricane. And it is obvious that some kind of device to quickly destroy the balloon is necessary in case of a sudden gust of strong wind. Now let's look at this second example from an Austrian company with this name. It works in a similar way to this well-known solar heater, which turn according to the movement of the sun across the sky. This Austrian long balloon is divided into two chambers by this mirror film which focuses solar radiation on this receiver, and the pressure of this chamber is slightly higher than this. This receiver is filled with heat transfer fluid, which can be heated by solar energy to a temperature of almost 600 degrees Celsius and transfers the energy into this heat storage. The thermal energy of this heat storage can be used to, to generate electricity both day and night, 24 hours a day. In addition to generating steam for electricity, the Austrians offer these uses, including water desalination, heat for industrial processes, solar cooling. I remind you that the Americans used the cheap and thin films, while the Austrians make balloons from durable films with a long lifespan. That is why the Austrian idea should strive for these goals, which lead to the cost of solar heat of half a cent per kilowatt hour. And here we see that we should reduce the total cost of the solar heater to fifty dollars per square meter. This is my next example where sun rays are focused in this way. This balloon is suggested to be used for sea water desalination, but it is obvious that here we can heat water or oil to high temperatures. Similar balloons are also used in such solar cookers that anyone can buy. This solar cooker may be so small, but filling it with air makes it capable of focusing solar energy to cook or heat food. In addition, we know about different ideas when balloons rise above the ground, possibly above the clouds. 
However, most often this balloons are the location of solar panels, not mirrors, although now I am showing exactly mirror balloons. In addition, we know about similar mirrors which are not related to our mirror balloons. This is a reflective film which becomes concave due to the negative air pressure, while our balloons use the positive pressure effect. I am skeptical about such ideas to raise balloons above the clouds to drastically reduce the number of cloudy hours. However, the location of our balloons on the water may seem interesting to us, especially in combination with this idea of solar power plants on the surface of water. We know that these power plants are placed on a lot of expensive floats, however, our balloon is already good float. In addition, our balloons can have simple and cheap device for turning them in order to orient their mirror surfaces towards the sun. Moreover, we know that such power plants can be easily turned in this direction, and this fact leads to an additional reduction in the cost of the systems for turning our mirrors. But it is obvious that it was just ideas, and maybe someday I will test them experimentally.